That that's a big uh, selling point for those those Mission Impossibles is like his stunts and his yeah. enthusiasm to do the stunts. Yeah, they, Craig. It seems like he's willing to do the stunts, but nothing on the scale of like you know what what Cruz is doing, like hanging off cliffs and. Planes. That guy's nuts. Yeah, he's absolutely nuts. <laughs> There's got to be at least three things that you're positive about, about No Time to Die. I, I, I'm anxious to hear them. At three things point. I'm positive about. For yeah, no time three, to die. three things that you're positive about, excited about. Okay. Um, let me see. I, I'm excited to finally see a new Bond movie after all these years. Okay. Um, I'm excited to see what Daniel Craig will give us in his final Bond movie, his final outing. Will it be better than the final outings of Brass and Connery mm, and more? That's, that's a good point. You know, because they all had pretty weak, well, it's debatable, but pretty weak um, ends of their tenures. Um, I'm excited about Ana de Armas mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. seven minutes of screen time, probably. Yeah, so it's going to be brief. Yeah, uh, and just uh, in general, I'm I'm just hoping for that it exceeds my expectations because you know we're we're both we're we're thinking after all these years we're going to see an average Bond film. Mm-hmm. We're hoping for more. It will be Quantum, which I think isn't too hard. Uh, and Spectre, I liked more than you, but I still think they could beat that as well. Uh, in in lots of areas, so yeah. And um, I would like to add action. I think the action is going to be pretty pretty darn good. From yeah. Based on like you know everything like we've seen in the trailers and everything, all those like the stunts, the bridge, the the motorcycle, all that. I think that's going to be. Um, I think it's going to be a uh, pretty exciting action. Throughout. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, if if we sum it up, like what are the action scenes gonna be uh, in this movie? I think a lot of large part of what we see in the trailers are all the Italy stuff, which I still uh, maintain is probably the pre-title sequence, like all the Italy stuff. The pre-titles or like the the start? It seems like a lot's going on in the Italy. So I, I don't know. I, yeah, who knows? Maybe it's not the pre-title sequence. I just have a feeling it's the, at least like maybe the beginning of the film, like the first half yeah. hour or so. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the pre-titles is like uh, uh, Nomi's mission or something, because I remember seeing like the shot of um, a building, somebody yeah. going down a, a, a building or <laughs> like this covert seemed... operation with these with these black ops kind yeah, of yeah like, yeah. So it seemed, that seemed like kind of an isolated incident a, a scene or something that's taken place far away from Bond. Yeah. But, look, but I'm just, who knows? I'm just guessing. Because, like, what would be the other pre, pre, pre-titles? Like him sitting on the beach? Would it be with Bond looking out? Yeah. Uh, yeah. My feeling has always been it, um, because we saw Bond drive off with Madeline. We're gonna see him with Madeline at the start, and since we 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 only really see him in action with Madeline uh, in Italy. Well, well, also in Norway. I don't know now, but I think and I just have such a feeling it starts there. Like he's gonna he's gonna end up losing her there somehow. Like maybe in the DB5 fighting with all the other uh, bad guys. And, you know, it moves into the titles, and then after the titles, Madeline's gone. And, you know, we maybe we do a time skip, and Bond yeah, is in Jamaica time. in his hut. Yeah, yeah who knows? Yeah, I was thinking that. 
action, another action scene. It's like in the woods. They're in the woods. It seems like um, I don't know. He's he's being chased by a truck or something. Yeah. Because yeah, I think there's... that's all the Norway sequences. Yeah, like that that stuff looked pretty darn cool. Like yeah. I, I saw like he he dives out of the way. The truck goes like whipping past him, like you know, flying past him. Some yeah, I agree. The the action it looks promising enough. There is there is a lot in there because if you look at Skyfall which we both, I think, maintain as one of the strongest Bond movies, certainly one of Craig's strongest. But Stifle doesn't necessarily have a lot of set-piece action scenes. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah that's good. what I've always said, yeah. And this one, it does seem to have a lot. You know, to me, the, the bridge jump comes to mind, which they've now shown in the extended scene as well, the little uh, 47 clip they show. It looks good, you know. Cinematography looks great. The the jump looks looks very real. Um, I I love the DP5 stuff with the the Gatlin guns coming out. That's something different. Mm-hmm. And the the jump with the bike also in Italy. That looks really cool. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's another another set piece we can expect. Uh, what we talked about Mission Impossible before, like how that turned into the the big action franchise these days. Do you do you think No Time to Die can compete with because um, it's coming out in the same year with the late we haven't seen anything about Mission Impossible Seven but assuming uh, it's going to be on the grade of level of the, the previous three or, or two like Fallout and Rogue Nation were really good do you think we can uh, compete with them I don't think like the the the, 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 the like Craig's Bond films like. Remember in the past, like they used to have this huge signature stunt in a yeah. Bond film, like even going back to like um, Golden Gun, like you know the corkscrew jump, the yeah. car flipping and stuff. I don't see that as much nowadays with Bond, like a, right. a big sig- like him flying, uh, skiing off the the cliff, stuff the like that. Golden Eye jump, you know. Yeah, the- it doesn't seem like they, they they've been doing that. It's 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 mainly like. Like Skyfall, like it's good action. Him jumping up on the crane and the the, the train uh, coming off and him jumping out to, like it's good stuff. It's just I don't think it's as um, it's not on the, the 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 scale that Mission Impossible is doing, where they say okay, right. it's almost like the those Mission Impossible movies promote themselves based around the one stunt. Like okay, yeah. watch Cruise uh, be on the tallest building in the world. Or uh, yeah. hanging off the the plane, like you don't see that with Bond anymore. Like it's it's not maybe because like the like Craig isn't he's not he's not as crazy as Cruz who's going to be doing like you know putting himself in these situations. Well, who where, is though? Who is of course you know yeah. the stuff the stuff Cruz is doing with with these movies like Fallout. The we've talked about this before probably, but it blew me away. Like this like he took like two thousand hours of helicopter lessons on the side. Just to be able to fly the helicopter by himself through the yeah, through the mountains yeah. near the climax of uh, Fallout, like, he was actually hanging under the helicopter. He did the the halo jump himself. Like the, the cameraman is is, is in the yeah, sky like the, filming him. All that stuff is really crude, He's jumping out and stuff. Like if you have an actor like that who's that committed, I mean, it's kind of hard to 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 compete. You might as well just There's do no your contest. Own. Yeah, you might as well just do your own thing and not yeah. even like okay, because like imagine like the next Bond actor, like he's they wouldn't put in the contract saying okay you're gonna have to do this life and death stunt in each one of these movies. Yeah. <laughs> Would anybody even sign that? But Cruz is so 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 nutty and enthusiastic to do this stuff. Like yeah, he's, pro- and, he's the and, producer on those those movies anyway. I he know, doesn't have to and do he's well pushing he sixty too, and the guy still looks so fit. Like we're all talking about Craig getting old and stuff. Cruz has has been doing this since ninety seven, no ninety six, ninety six, the first Mission Impossible movie, and and he's still you know the latest the latest one was um, what was it two thousand eighteen. Uh, and they're still they're still doing it, and and he's gonna do seven. God knows if he's also doing number eight, but I think with 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 Mission Impossible, if we delve into this subject, that once Cruise is done, when he's really truly too old, God knows when that's gonna be. But 
they're probably not going to cast a new Ethan Hunt. They're probably just going to go with a new lead character of the Mission Impossible series, like a different different guy, and then maybe mm-hmm. Ethan it's, Hunt will show up in a cameo. I think that's what they're going to do. It seemed like they, they were ready to uh, Jeremy Renner. It seemed yeah. like they were grooming him for like... The, I think that was the plan with Ghost Protocol originally. I yeah. think he was going to take over. Um, yeah, and then, and then I guess Cruz just got too excited to keep doing it. You know, fair point, you know, the, the stuff sells, especially the the latest movies. They're they're doing a great job. So the question is, between Mission the new Mission Impossible movie, um, I don't think we got a title for it, but... Mission no, it's Mission just Mission Impossible 7 at okay, the moment. So, and that's coming out um, around No Time to Die. Yeah. And you got No Time to Die, James Bond's return, Daniel Craig's final film, after almost a historic wait, like between those two films, which would you rather go see? You only get to oh, see it's, one. It's, yeah, yeah, it's got to be Bond because you know I'm not crazy enough to jump into a plane and go to London, uh, book a hotel, and see the new Mission Impossible movie. And with with Bond, it's just you know we're in this fandom and. and and to me, it feels like uh, a certain loyalty that, you know, I have to go see this regardless. You know, I have to see the new Bond movie. But if you ask me which one I'm more confident in doing good and which one are you more confident in actually, you know, really blowing us away action wise. I haven't seen a trailer of Mission Impossible 7 yet. I would probably pick that based on how good the previous one was more. Mm-hmm. I, I did see one stunt they were filming for Mission Impossible 7. They're doing a really, really big ramp over oh. like into the abyss. Yeah, and, and Cruz that. drives, yeah, Cruz drives a, a motorcycle right off into the abyss, uh, into a town, also in Norway, I believe, or something. I, I'm not sure. But it's another one of those typical insane cruise jumps. So once again, action-wise, that looks more promising. But if I if I only get to see one, you know, it, it's got to be Bond, isn't it? We've waited so long. Between like like we saw that uh, No Time to Die, like that that one motorcycle jump in that trailer, in No Time to Die, I guess in Italy, like we see the guy go straight up and everything. Do you think this cruise motorcycle jump in the next Mission Impossible is going to just like you know blow it out of the water? With this, 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 this ramp. If you thing. put those two next to each other, yeah. based on what I've seen in the behind the scenes footage of the jump cruise did, yeah, it, it is going to blow that jump out of the water. But I, I'm, I'm not sure. They're, they're ba- that's a good point. They're bound to be compared now, even yeah. though No Time to Die was filmed like three years before that, probably. But um, <laughs> since they're releasing in the same period. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that cruise is going to definitely beat that. It's the same with um, when Spectre was released. That was two Mission Impossible movies ago already, Rogue Nation. Right. They were also so similar, also in, in plot. Which one's yeah. going to be the bigger hit? Yeah, my, my guess, and, and it pains me to say it, but you, you can already guess it. My guess is Mission yeah. Impossible is going to do is gonna be the better one. Yeah. Which I wish turned around, because if you look at um, Bond and Mission Impossible competing, like the first one, 96, you know, going up against Tomorrow Never Dies and Goldeneye, that was not necessarily an action movie that much. The big set set piece was Cruz yeah. hanging down from the from the rope, and, you know, Goldeneye and Tomorrow Never Dies were really action-packed. They could stand on their own. Uh, the second one was terrible. It, it, the Wolves of Enough was much better. Um, not as not as horrible as Dino today though. But number three was pretty good, but that came out in the same year as Casino Royale. Again, Bond won in my opinion. Casino Royale is much more complete, much more of an actual Bond movie. Though I really like Mission Impossible Three as well, having seen it recently again. But then from number four onwards, Ghost Protocol and Skyfall, both really good. Rogue Nation, it blew Spectre out of the water. Also the same year. Then they got Fallout, which didn't even have to compete with a bomb movie because we had nothing. And now it's this one competing with No Time to Die. So, uh, yeah, it's like the Mission Impossible series slowly took over because I felt the bomb ones were always the better ones in the early days. But now it's turned around, I think. No, like, it's funny. Like, Certainly action wise. Like how, how back in the in the 60s when they had like the big spy craze 
they'd have the right. James Bond, you know, Connery's Bond movies come out, and like they'd have all these imitators, these low rent, like you know, um, uh, chintzy, cheap spy movies that like are trying to like uh, cash in on, on the Bond craze. Yeah, and, like they they were and, including they Mission the, Impossible that spawned yeah. from Bond, you know. Well, the yeah, Bond the TV craze. show. But like, like they would have like you know th- these cheaper movies, these knockoff movies, you know the Liquidator and stuff, and like it, they they would barely make a make a ripple, like you know OK Connery, you know Operation Kid Brother, you know like they weren't that concerned with uh, these things like taking the um, taking the heat off of like you know the, the latest Bond movie. Right, but that, but that's now, because Bond was as big as the Beatles. You know, it was the it was the trendsetter in the '60s. There was nothing bigger movie wise, probably. Yeah. But like all the most of those other like the, the the low grade films, those knockoff films, there wasn't even a worry about it. Now, sort of like yeah, Mission Impossible grew out of 007. They're doing these movies now, and it's eclipsing the actual Bond series. It's kind yeah. of strange, like how it just turned around. I'm I'm wondering if like they're if Babs and Mike are concerned about like. And I was blown away by. Um... Fallout, Mission Impossible 6. So I already know without a trailer that at least action-wise, it's going to be a banger again. And with no time to die, we just hope. We hope it's going to be a banger. 